Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode of Kodar, and we're here on the ocean floor of Manan. Um, yeah, you walk really slow here. I don't understand why you have to walk so slow, but all I have to do is walk straight here and make a left, and this guy is, this guy, he's, he's a funny guy. He's insane like the rest of the people down here. Uh, yeah, he's a survivor. This guy is really humorous. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just think it's really funny. Oh, my companions are dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Insane or something. Long ago. Oh, my God. This guy's freaking funny. This is the funniest guy. <laughs> way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. Wait a second. I discovered a way now to get Now he finds out a way to get in there. The He's like, I don't know where to go. I discovered a way. This guy's freaking funny. From the outside. Hang around looking for dinner. <laughs> I'm not spending another minute. Oh my god. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another This is extremely slow, so I think I'm gonna speed this up and narrate it while I'm editing. We should probably stick together. So yeah. But I won't wait around in here with a cell cat. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Alright guys, um, yeah, all you do is walk out here, and he's gonna get eaten by a shark right now. My favorite guy is gonna eat by a shark right now. Well, he just got eaten right there. So make sure you have your sonic emitter, and you wanna, you wanna use that, um, against the sharks. So yeah. Right, when they walk towards you, make sure you, I mean, when they swim towards you, just hit A on the sonic emitter, and it'll kill it. Well, it'll just tumble it over. But anyway, um, yeah, all we have to do is walk over here to the right, and the door's right there. And just make a left here, and the door's right there. So once we're in here, um, yeah. Okay, guys, so we're in here now, and there's a lot of cell cats. I mean, there's only there's some more cell cats later, but, um, later on in this place, but I'm not going to do any of that. Okay, guys. Get a breath mask and get some remains. Okay, and head on this door right here, and yeah, there's gonna be a little thing that happens no, here, so just no, watch. You can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxon and the Cellcat in. No, stay out. Stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them. Kill them now. What? What do you want? Well, first of all, you can't kill them because it's only me. No. The Faraxa, the, the cell cat. I, I, I can't let you in. They'll get us. I I don't want to hurt you. Um. I don't want to hurt anyone. I'll unlock the door, but you have to come in quickly. Yeah, just use Persuade there. I, More sorry, crazy people I down did. here. Typical, I don't know so. What came over me. I, I, I just He's sorry for almost killing me, but I'm gonna make him feel a little bad. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew. A cell cat researchers started screaming at it and, and wow. clawing at everything around them. Jeez, um. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. Eaten before we my eyes. Yeah, wow, this is a little. Who, who ate them? The Faraxon or the Those cell cats? Because the cell cats don't like eating humans. We thought they didn't try to eat me. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. The cell cats, I, I mean, I the Froxen eat me, I though. They eat my the favorite, funniest guy. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. 
We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have a I lot to answer for. You tried to kill me. Recently. You know, the whole a thing about having my entire research team <laughs> devoured before my eyes. Kano, Kano, Devoured before my Don't eyes. <laughs> We've gone through a lot, and we said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Just... Shut up, actions, bitch. You tried to kill me for no reason. Does it look like I'm a freaking Fraxen shark? Does it look like I'm a fish? Making fun of me? You think I look like a fish? A star map? Whatever. I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Culto harvesting machine. But we can't go anywhere near those now. Maybe that's what I'm looking for, the ruins. That's why it all happened in the first place. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming. So he's gonna talk about head. this shark and that this is the reason because they excavated they like they excavated the ruins, the star map, and it must have unleashed like a dark power throughout the whole ocean. And all these things are killing each other. That's why this place is so twisted down here. Drove them insane. Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Colto vent. That might explain a few things too. Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent, and also why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Colto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Colto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. I don't know. It must still be out there. All right. Out there, waiting for us. Where is it now? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious Shut problem. Shut up! Why are you guys so scared of it? They're pussies. Just against them, but come on, still seriously. Some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed um, to drive for accidents. Yeah, I know what to away, do. But we never got very far in its development. Um, the since this is a little dark side walk, so we're gonna use the um, to them. the poison. We're gonna poison the shark. We're not gonna do the stupid um, from the water by take down the, the machine tanks. and which is exactly what we need. Which blows up situation. the whole thing. It doesn't make any sense. Kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. Um, just listen to both of the ideas, and you can choose which one you want to do. I'm gonna do the easier one, which is the poison. Who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Colto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You can take this canister of toxin. We were working on it just before the giant shark drove all the cellcath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Colto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. Wait, don't! We don't know what effect the toxin will have on the ocean environment around the rift. It could poison the water against all life. It could poison the culto itself, even. There is another way. Well, the monster seems to well, be driven out by the Well, I could care less, because you know why? I am a dark person in this game. Does it really I matter? If you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. I am sure. You can reprogram the No, I want to kill the shark. Why would you want it to still be living? Fuel. So the fuel tank you don't make any sense, lady. The hydrolium gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydrolium gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... But we'll lose everything we've That's too, here. like, complicated. All Why can't we just poison the vent? It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. You know it's the right thing to do. It can't go wrong. Just put I'm gonna the poison the shark. The machine and have it vent into the rift. 
The Phyraxan shark should die in no time. No, you shouldn't do that. It could poison everything. Just reprogram the harvesting machine's computer to overpressure mm -hmm. the fuel tanks. Once it's destroyed, if you actually do poison everything, um, you know med packs do get do. more expensive. But as long right as you have choice. Jedi with you, you can just use heal. Force heal, so don't worry about it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it a video now. So, yeah, all I have to do is, um, I'm gonna hand it to, I'm gonna hand it to, there we go. Um, yeah, all I have to do basically now is just head out to the ocean floor and get the star map, but I'm gonna do that next time. So, yeah, I will see you guys, um, next time. Let's just begin the airlock sequence, and the ocean floor is waiting for us. See you guys.